how to configure your span and R span on Cisco switches. Uh, local span, uh, by the way, uh, is span stands for switch port analyzer. Uh, local span uh, supports a span session entirely within one device or within one switch. All source ports, all source ports or source VLANs and destination ports are in the same device or device stack. Uh, local span copies traffic from one more source ports in any VLAN or from one or more VLANs to a uh, destination port analysis, uh, to a destination port for analysis. And of course, um, in this video, we are going to use Packet Tracer. And this is the topology that I'm going to use for to configure local span uh, or just a span. And this is the topology that I'm going to use to configure remote span or R span. Okay, so uh, configure a local span session. So I can start configuring local span or just uh, span on switch one. And of course I can Just uh, change that. Okay, so just to make sure that you know there's no existing monitor session one, I'm going to just say no, and I can start. I can now start configuring a session monitor session one or a span so in this case just one uh, session ID I mean two and then I can I will specify my source interface which is looking at our topology that would be fast uh, Ethernet Ethernet 0 slash 1 that's what I'm choosing here and yeah, you can specify both. Um, so, meaning both egress and ingress, or just uh, ingress traffic or egress traffic. By default, it is, by default, it's both. So, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to press enter. And speaking of which, let me see if this this command is applicable. No, I mean it's supported. So that's fine. Uh, well, yeah, that's done. And now I can configure the destination port. So destination port would be looking at our diagram would be fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. And um, by the way, uh, you can also uh, going back to uh, to the source interface let me just enter this. Uh, you can also specify, let's say, looking at our diagram, let's say this port here is a trunk port. You can actually specify the, or filter VLANs that you want to uh, monitor or analyze. Uh, so this is an example of that. So monitor session, uh, just say one filter VLAN. So here, <clears throat> you can just remove that. And for destination ports, you can also uh, specify the. You can also say 
encapsulation replicate and that would mean to retain the uh, VLAN that is being used. So let's say this is a document from Cisco and here it says that it's optional uh, so encapsulation it's uh, actually too small encapsulation replicate specifies that the destination interface replicates the source interface encapsulation method so uh, so let's say you are using a you're using that one Q as your encapsulation method um, this means here I mean this command this command this command copies basically the the encapsulation method that you are using for your source interface and if not if not selected this default is to send packets in native form so untagged that's that's my uh, understanding and of course there's another uh, encapsulate uh, option which is this Actually, this I think this is for the uh, access VLAN, so or access port. So when you if you use this, you will retain the the uh, the VLAN ID or the VLAN tag, or you will copy the VLAN tag. And this here actually specifies that the destination interface accepts the source interface incoming packets with okay. Uh, it specifies that the destination interface accepts the source interface incoming packets. So this looks like this is for the dot one q actually. But uh, in any case, uh, packet tracer doesn't support at least uh, 7.2. Version 7.2 doesn't support these options, you know, these uh, encapsulation replicate and encapsulation that one Q. So I will not be able to show you that as you can see here. And uh, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, uh, in our case, I will just use the default. Um, and I can now and save. I can just verify my config. So here, so looking at our topology, our source is uh, fast Ethernet zero slash one, and destination is fast Ethernet slash zero two. And this is uh, the command that you can use to verify. So, so now the default is native. Um, encapsulation. I mean, the the default encapsulation is native, and you can we can see here that the. Uh, Default is both, so receive and uh, receive and transmit. And of course, this is the destination port. And ingress uh, is disabled. So encapsulation native meaning and tag right no no tagging so but Cisco uh, actually uses native instead of untag okay so that's for uh, that's how you can configure uh, local span uh, now I'm going to Next, I'm going to configure remote span um, or just RSpan. RSpan supports source ports, 
source VLANs and destination ports on different devices or different stack or different device stacks, enabling remote monitoring of multiple devices across your network. So like I said earlier, I'm going to use this topology. So uh, I can now start configuring uh, a remote span session. going to start with switch one and uh, you have to configure a VLAN ID or just yeah, VLAN to be your remote uh, span VLAN so in my case I'm going to use VLAN 101 and yeah, you can specify, you can say that that VLAN is remote span. And of course, uh, you have to allow that VLAN on the, on the trunk ports. So, uh, looking at our topology, our trunk ports are uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 2, and that's the same for on uh, switch to as well. <clears throat> so I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay, done. And I will also do the same on R2. I mean, switch two. So I'm creating the remote span VLAN and I'm allowing it on the trunk port. Okay, now I can uh, start configuring a remote span or a remote span session. So I'm going back to switch one and I can just uh, copy and paste this. So oops, looking back here, I mean, looking at our topology, our source interface is fast ethernet zero slash one, which is that. And the destination is <clears throat> the destination is the remote VLAN, and that's it. Save. And on our on the switch two, the source is the remote VLAN, and the destination is of course fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So double checking. Yeah, that's correct. So we assume that this laptop has a Wireshark, has a Wireshark installed on it. And this laptop has a Wireshark installed in it. Save. Okay, so same command. Um, of course, we are using uh, mon monitor session one. Let me see if detail, I can say detail as well. Let me add that. Okay, so on the switch one, uh, sorts, I mean, both um, receive and transmit traffic. And source VLANs. Source VLANs none, 
encapsulation native ingress uh, this is for the destination port ingress disabled and this is the destination uh, destination r span vlan here and if i remove that uh, yeah so we have the this port as our source port and we have this vlan as our destination r span vlan and going to switch to monitor session one so encapsulation is native uh, by the way, um, this keyword, I mean, this encapsulation replicate is not supported on, it's not supported with our span. And that is according to the Cisco documentation. Documentation. Let me just show it to you here. Here. So though visible in the command, command line, command line help string encapsulation replicate is not supported for rspan the original vlan is overwritten by the rspan vlan it and all packets appear on the desti destination port is untagged as untagged so i can also say detail yeah Okay, I'm saving to config. Yeah, so that's how you can configure span or local span and R span on Cisco switches.